now. It's almost three years, can't believe this, to the day since Griff first appeared on the show back then, of course, celebrating her Brit's success and trying to get her head around the fact that Taylor Swift was a big fan. Well, this weekend, she's going to be opening for Taylor at Wembley. Beautiful. That last song was Griff's new single. It's called Anything, and it is so good to talk to you again. Hi. I can't believe it's three years ago. I know. Lovely Good to see you. Crazy. Thanks for having me back. Oh, it's great. We, we talked about Taylor loving your music. We did, yeah. And now this weekend, you're going to be part of the show. I know. It's gone full circle. <laughs> I feel like maybe we spoke it into existence. We did. Three years we did ago. There, yeah, exactly. It? And it happened. How did it all come about? Well, I'm trying to remember now. Obviously, we, when we last spoke, that was when I first properly met Taylor. Yeah. And then she announced the Eras tour. I was seeing everyone that was opening for her. I was so jealous of them. <laughs> and then um, it was actually maybe a few months ago, I was at a Kendrick Lamar concert. And right. I just so happened to be sitting in a box. And I look over to my left and it was Taylor Swift in the next box. Oh. And I was like, I don't know if she's going to like remember me from the Brits. And then I like tried to catch her eye and like say hi. And then she like ran up to me and we were speaking. And that was when she first mentioned maybe bringing me out. So. And she said you need to do that. Yeah, See, she's, like, she's very generous as yeah. a performer and that's really important, isn't it? Yeah. To everybody, you know, that she, and because you, look, you have been with amazing bands, Coldplay, Ed Sheeran, you've opened for them. You're not a stranger to this big, massive, huge thing, but there's something, di she's a different league as Taylor Swift, right? It's crazy. I mean, yeah, it's wild to say that maybe I've already done Wembley with Coldplay and everything, but each support is very different. Sure. I feel like with this one, though, it feels like a bit of a homecoming because I'm such a Swifty. I feel like I'm just performing <laughs> to like 100,000 of like my friends, you know? So and it sort of fun. works, you know? I can understand yeah. why she really wanted you to be there. Because, oh, you know, it's kind of, it just works. It just all kind of so. flows together. I hope the Swifties like me. They will, of <laughs> course they will. Why wouldn't they? Now, you're, are you making your own outfit for this? What's oh, happening? Yeah, What's going on? I, don't, oh, I always do this where I've like, I like to make clothes, so I've tasked yeah. myself with making the dress. But I'm like a few days out and I'm really regretting it. I've got fabric all over my living room. I'm looking <laughs> at the dress and like, I think I hate it, but it's too late to turn back now, so. So yeah, I'll keep everyone posted with how I think it's a great idea. Why not? It makes hey? it really special, doesn't it? I think also there's something fun with the Swifties and the outfits that you show up mm. to the um, Eras tour with. So yeah, hopefully. Because lots and lots of of, uh, of young girls will be doing exactly the same. It's true. Exactly the same thing. That's true. But this is what I really like about you because there's that control. Because you know, years ago, and um, we're just talking to Rachel Stevens yesterday from S Club Seven and how controlled that all was yeah. back then. Yeah. You know, it was, and you can. Wear what you like, do what you like, you write your own stuff. It's it's very authentic. Yeah, I try to. And I think it's it's such an amazing time in music. And I think Taylor is someone who's paved the way for all mm. of us. I mean, she's every like, you know, re-recording all the albums, everything. I think when you look yeah. at an artist that's had a career that long, she's very much so in the driver's seat. So it's I'm kind of just standing on shoulders of people like that. But her. that's great. Yeah. I mean, she's been the pioneer and then that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Now look, the album is coming out. Now, am I holding it up the right way? <laughs> look at that, you are. It's... Because your, your name is upside know, down, well, but that's, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's called Vertigo, so I guess the point is that we're just a little bit upside God down. Gosh, it can be that way, it can be any bit. Love you hearing that. It doesn't look good. I know. Wow, so you can, have, you can play around with that, which is great. Yeah. So this is a big deal for you, isn't it? It is, it's my first ever album. I've never made an album before, so I'm so excited. How does it feel though, to see it? I mean, vinyl, I love vinyl. Anyway. Yeah. But to see it like that, that's feels a... terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> but some of these songs, I've been writing this album for maybe a couple of years now, so I'm Shoot. so ready for the world to have it, and it's out on July the 19th. So. July 19th is the album. Singles yeah. out now. We'll also see you. There's going to be. A, I know how special this is to you. Yeah. Um, in November, there's yes. a big, big, big show, isn't there? Yes. I'm playing Alexandra Palace in London, which is the biggest show I'm ever going to do. I mean, I spent the last couple of years doing so much support shows. I'm so excited for this year to have album out. Um, to be like having my own concerts, people coming and seeing the show. So, yeah. It's great. And look, what about your mum? Will she be there in the front row? I don't know. I asked her the other day if she's coming to Taylor. She was like, oh, do I have to come? So I don't, I don't know. She's notoriously, <laughs> I love your she's notoriously unbothered with my pop it's career. Like, so yeah, whatever. She's like, oh, I've got to look after the kids. Like, if what got, time are you on? If I've got nothing else to do, I yeah. might toddle along yeah, to she's see like, oh, you. But I just can't be bothered to leave the house. I'm like, that's all right, mum. Do you know what? Is that not quite good in a way? It is very humbling. It keeps your feet on the ground. It really does. Yeah. Not that you would ever be starry anyway, because, you, because of who you are. <laughs> I don't think I can when you've no, got her as no, a No, not when you've got your mum saying no, that exactly. to you. So you're all set. Yes. You're feeling good about this. You're just going to go on and I think so. do your thing. 
I mean, what's the worst gonna that can happen, you know? I'm more excited to just watch the three hour era show and sing with everyone else. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Congratulations, Griff. Thank you. Just keep for doing me. just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. That's all we can say. Lovely to see you again. And don't make it three years. No, I know. Don't be back before then. More regularly. I I'll be back before then. It's great. And the album Vertigo, as we said, is out next month and it's the 13th of November yes. for that big gig at the Alley Pally, which would be lovely. And of course the small matter of Wembley with Taylor Swift <laughs> on Saturday.